Hello, Susan. Hello, I, Vanny. Uh, how are you today? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm uh, very happy that you are with us because you are a very important person in South San Francisco. You have done so much for this uh, city, and I'm glad that you got a chance to come and talk to me about your career in South San Francisco. You have done so many different things. What part of uh, your career do you want to talk about? Well, most of my career was spent, or at least so far it was spent with the fire department. I worked for the fire department for about 14 years. And then I moved to the city manager's office in 2004. So most of my career has been with the fire department. Um, had the, the opportunity to do a lot of different things there. A lot of programs dealt with a lot of people through teaching first aid and CPR, uh, the original offering of the community emergency response team. So I, that's been a lot of what I've done. But you know, since I've come up to the city manager's office, I work on the newsletter. We created the Citizens Academy. We've done work with the farmer's market. So I mean, there've been a lot of different things that I've had the opportunity to do. What do you mean by Citizen Academy? What do you do? What project is that? Could you explain a little bit about it? Well, the Citizens Academy we created um, in 2006. And this is an 11-week program that gives people the opportunity to essentially come in, spend 11 weeks, and learn about how the city works. Uh, they get the opportunity to spend time with each of the city departments we actually spend two weeks with public works and with economic and community development because of the size of those departments and some of the different areas that they cover. But it gives people an opportunity to get a chance to meet the different people in the departments, learn what they do, how they do it, why they do it. Um, the intention being that if people have a better familiarity of how the city works, that they'll feel more comfortable communicating with us about issues or with the, or about problems or they'll have a better understanding of why we do or don't do something that they may think we should be doing. Um, you know, it's like, well, gee, why don't you pave my street? Well, they learn who, first of all, who's responsible for that, and then they also learn um, how that's budgeted and the fact that that's a for example a capital improvement project and so you know and some of the the funding is done in cycles and that while we may have a paving project that's going to take place over say a two three four year period you know maybe their street doesn't come up from a, for another year or two and you know hopefully they learn how or why we make those decisions and and gives them a better understanding of what's going on. Uh, I know that you work, as you said, you work for fire department, fire fight, with firefighters, and do you have any exciting moment? I'm sure you have lots of exciting moment in your career, but can you remember something that was really challenging for you? Well, we, the fire department has done a lot of really wonderful things over the years. Um, you know, the South San Francisco Fire Department is the only fire department in San Mateo County and one of only a couple of fire departments in the entire state of California that has their own paramedic transport service. Um, and so that is a real unique opportunity. Um, we do just what, what you would call regular firefighting. They also do some wildland firefighting. Um, during my time with the department, um, I wouldn't say that we had a lot of big fires because generally you see the number of structure fires sort of decreasing compared to years ago, but many, many more medical calls. Um, we ha did have a couple of large fires during my time in the department, and usually my capacity with those was to be the public information officer. Um, the other thing that we dealt with was we ended up having to close the industrial hotel because of some real serious structural issues. So that was a um, project that, I don't know if I'd call it exciting, but was certainly one that we had to handle real carefully and took a lot of coordination. And then probably one of the biggest projects that I took on in the fire department other than the um, community emergency response team was in the year 2000. We did 
uh, an air crash exercise here in South San Francisco. We simulated the possibility of an airplane crash given our close proximity to the airport. And so that was the first time that the San Francisco International Airport had actually brought equipment off-site to end to practice response to an incident. Everything that they had done to that point had always been on airport property. So they loaned us uh, a prop that was that simulated the inside of an airplane. And then we set up some different scenarios in some different locations um, in the area of the corporation yard over on uh, North Canal and the surrounding neighborhood in Mayfair. And we had uh, departments from we had representatives from Daly City, Burlingame, Pacifica, I think maybe even Brisbane, uh, all help respond to this incident along with fire personnel from the airport and members of the county and also different law enforcement jurisdictions. And it was a very, it was a, it was a very successful uh, exercise and it was, a, it was a lot of fun, but you know, there was a lot of focus on that. We got a lot of media exposure and uh, it was kind of a fun thing. Thank you very much, Susan. Uh, I'm speaking with Susan Kennedy, who has worked in South San Francisco for a long time, and he has, she has done lots of uh, good work for South San Francisco. My name is Benny Rucker, and I'm working for South San Francisco Public Library. Thank you very much, Susan. I really enjoy talking to you.